It's made over Pride Month merchandise. Thanks for joining us for the news at 10 o'clock. I'm Chris Fry. We got an email today threatening five local Target stores. We called the police right away and they found each threat to be a hoax. Kelly Kennedy has new details on the controversy and reaction from shoppers. This all stems from Target's decision to pull some Pride Month merchandise off its shelves. This after some customers started threatening store employees and even knocking over displays. The person who sent us this threat said that Target turned its back on the LGBT community. A little before 1230 Friday afternoon, 19 News received this email. The sender claimed they placed a bomb in the Target in Stowe, a Target in Jackson Township, two Targets in the Mahoning Valley, and one in Pennsylvania. It's going on all the way around the country. I mean, everywhere you go, there's always something. 19 News immediately alerted local police and the Cleveland Division of the FBI. At first, law enforcement didn't know if the threats were credible. So some stores were evacuated. I know a lot of people around here are not a fan of LGBT. Me personally, I'm just like, I mean, it's whatever. I never thought someone would go as far as a bomb threat, especially here. The sender said they would continue to bomb Target stores until the LGBT merchandise is brought back. On Wednesday, Target said they were moving some Pride Month merchandise from the front to the back of some stores. I stand behind uh, Target selling, I guess, whatever merchandise they like, and I always enjoy actually seeing uh, all the LGBTQ stuff that they have. So um, I'm, I'm not really shocked, I guess, by hearing that, but it is unfortunate. Well, I don't think they should have done that. I mean, that's, I mean, people's people, you know. I don't care who, who you are or who, who anybody else is. They're their own people. I mean, they're just like me. So you're glad that Target pulled the LGBT merchandise? Yes. False alarm or not, the FBI takes swatting incidents like this very seriously. Sending a hoax call or message is a federal crime, and if you're caught, you could end up behind bars. A law making swatting a fourth degree felony in Ohio went into effect in April. If you're willing to make a bomb threat, then obviously you're just a dangerous person overall. You shouldn't really be free. The LGBT Community Center of Greater Cleveland said they do not condone violence under any circumstance. They sent us a statement that reads in part, the threats made to Target recently are a disheartening development, especially when our community is preparing to come together to celebrate our pride. Reporting in Jackson Township, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.